Czyli te, te ceny na, nagle spadły do żywiec, nie? stopnia, że nikt krowy nie chowa ani świnie, a pole stoi u no, Taki jest, takie teraz rząd. To jeszcze my, to jeszcze jeszcze, ale teraz te nasze dzieci, to nie wiem co będzie. Łodły chapy udało się nie ma nigdzie. No job. Wszystko bezrobocie i te dzieci chodzą i muszą kraść. No, wszystko chodzi, roboty nie ma nigdzie. Zapowiada się taka bieda, że będzie złodziej na złodziejnie. Okay. By now I wanted to see inside one of the factory farms. One person and no camera. Okay, why don't you want the camera there? I'd like her to follow and take a picture of the pigs inside the ventilation you from shed. There, will you? Yeah, quickly before anybody comes. <laughs> Unable to get an authorized picture of conditions inside any of Smithfield's Polish farms. A broken air vent was an inviting opportunity. The hard slatted floor deprives them of their instinctive rooting. Plus, there's no straw for bedding. I think we should skedaddle. Shall I run with that? Well, we don't want them to take our camera. Let's go. Let's leave. I wasn't allowed to film inside a farm, but I was granted an interview with the Smithfield manager, and I asked him what he thought of complaints from local people of illnesses from the farm's activities. I can understand that smell, but we are not aware about any illness or sicknesses uh, of local people. Uh, if, if this is harmful, probably our employees who work with pigs they should be dead already. We are trying to uh, limit the odors. And so we are spreading uh, manure or uh, slurry in the very short periods. You can find people uh, which appreciate that we, we operate in the region. And some, they are not happy. Majority, it is connected with the, with the jobs. People who are employed, they are satisfied. Who are not, they are not. I asked a government official about the regulation of factory farms like Smithfields. We control the process on a basis and we are to the point to allow the brutal attack of the industrial na nasze gospodarstwa rodziny. Staramy się tutaj wytłumaczyć wszystkim, również naszym rolnikom, że środowisko polskie wcale nie jest tanie i że musimy sobie zdawać sprawę z tego, że jest to coś, środowisko to jest coś, co pory pożyczyliśmy od wnuków. Będziemy musieli im to oddać. Though I wasn't able to film inside a factory farm, after a tip-off, in 2005, an undercover team from Compassion in World Farming filmed at a Smithfield farm. Is there a bigger stick? Showing what was in the stinking cesspit they called a lagoon. Take them out. Smithfield responded to these pictures by saying it was physically impossible for dead pigs to get into the lagoon and they would never tolerate disposing of them in this way. And they also claim that local officials after an investigation concluded that the pigs found did not come from their farm. Later in the same year, another team from Compassion in World Farming managed to do what I'd struggled to do the year before, get inside one of Smithfield's farms at the village of Viscovice. Pigs in factory farms are usually raised on bare slats, but even on straw, they don't look healthy. Number of dead pigs, you know? Some really lame ones in there as well. I 
I asked Smithfield about these pictures, and they said that their pigs' health and welfare are their top priorities, and their Polish farms either conform to or exceed EU regulations. Although I've asked them twice, with regard to these particular pictures, they say that the allegations and the events described are absolutely false. The next year, 2006, I was back in Wieskowice after I heard about a campaign by local people against the pig farm, which is right next to the village primary school. In North Carolina, you couldn't put 250 pigs within 750 metres of a school, but here there are 12 thousand pigs. Szkoła jest oddalona od fermy około 150 do 200 metrów i najbliższym jest obiektem właśnie od tej fermy i te dzieci często często właśnie miały jakieś katary, jakieś uzawienie ucz, jakieś choroby alergiczne nawet. Jak zaczęły się żniwa, to nie, nie mogliśmy za, otwierać oki, nie wychodzić na przerwy. Wszyscy się źle czuli, jak wracali do domu. There was a scientific study of the impact of the odors from the Wieskowice farm done three years earlier by Dr. Zabigniew Hallett, an epidemiologist who had been deputy minister for health and chief sanitary inspector in three separate governments. We found that uh, those who live in a closer uh, distance from uh, this uh, meat factory suffer more from headaches, from uh, sneezing, from stuffed nose, from running eyes, burning eyes, from uh, neurological, respiratory and intestinal diseases, just because of being so much exposed to the uh, nauseous gases. Later that year, I went with Dr. Hallett to visit local people who were complaining about their health. Ja mam ciągle kłopoty z gardłem, z oczami. Cały czas. Cały czas. Ciągle chrzącham, ciągle chrzącham. <coughs> Coś tam przeszkadza, Podrażnie jakaś klucha. Tak. Ja mam mamę, która właśnie miała, ma 84 mhm. lata i y, mama nie mogła oddychać, dusiła się, bo był taki smród, mhm. ten fetor i wtedy właśnie rozpoczęłam tą akcję. Czy państwo cierpią też na y, zapalenie gardła często? No dosyć często. Cierpnący nos? Katary to, to jest na porządku dzień. Pięknące oczy? Smithfield's representative in Poland, Morton Jensen, responded to these claims. Uh, first of all, uh, I say we are complying with all the police and EU uh, regulation concerning uh, uh, say, uh, any uh, environmental issues uh, with the plants. Uh, on top of this, we are a little bit, uh, let's say, uh, uh, difficult for us to understand this complaint because the farms that we bought there was existing farms that have been operating over many years before we bought them. Yeah? Uh, so, uh, 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 but if there is issues, uh, we are definitely taking care of this and we are let's say, cooperating with the local let's say, authorities to solve those issues. More recently, Smithfield told me that allegations of air pollution had been the subject of proceedings, but had always been resolved in their favour. No danger to residents' health had been found to be associated with their activities. I asked the minister for the environment at the time why nothing could be done about the smells. Odnośnie zapachów nie ma norm. W związku z tym to jest poza możliwościami jakiejkolwiek kontroli administracyjnej. I tak samo to występuje przy Brambuni. Nie mamy standardów na zapach. Given the historic experience. The minister from the Law and Justice Party was very critical of the way factory farming had established itself in Poland in the past. Wiele ferm funkcjonuje skażając środowisko, produkując żywność kiepskiej jakości, nie respektując przepisów weterynaryjnych, sanitarnych, dobrostanu zwierząt i tylko dzięki temu są względnie konkurencyjne. Polskie prawo musi być poprawione w tym względzie i precyzyjnie, zdecydowanie respektowane.